Welcome friends, thanks for visit my website and my um, own blog uh, YouTube channel. So guys, today I am going to discuss that how I can integrate a website template into ASP.NET MVC application. It's a very important task because we generally do it. So let me create a new project over here, like uh, my project name is the template in MVC. And uh, uh, what I will do over here, just go and select the empty template and here and uh, taking the MVC, you know, <coughs> reference over here and just go and OK. So what I have to do over here first, I have to download my you know template. So I I uh, I already done it. So you can see here. I am not telling you that how you can how you can download the template. So this is my template. So guys, first thing that you have to finalize that which part of your web page would, would be dynamic and which part is the static part. For example, that the header part and the you know this particular slider is the static part and the all these contains except of this footer are the part of static part but to the uh, you know apart from this uh, header and uh, you know uh, slider and uh, footer the other part would be the dynamic part so if you go and search any link then the, this part page uh, of your page will be changed only so guys a uh, very important thing so what i will do here, here first let's go and add a new folder that is the contained folder and uh, just go and select all the template files copied them and placed them into the contained folder so your content is ready right now what i will do first here first i will create a shared folder or you can say the master page of web form so go and uh, explore the views and select a new folder that is a shared folder and in this shared folder i am going to add a new item that is the layout.cstml layout.page and the page name would be underscore my layout add now you can uh, understand that the render body part this this is part is uh, you know responsible for the dynamic content of web different web pages and uh, other part is the static contents so guys what i will do first here just go and select all the references of head tag like css and javascript references and copy them into your head section okay and other part like header like this part this is responsible for that uh, you know slider part this is for the main content and this is for the footer so guys just copied all these things up to closing of body tag copied it and add it into the body part of your web page okay okay so guys uh, my layout.cstml is, is ready but with some uh, minor changes i have to do over here first thing that uh, i decided that which part should be dynamic and which part is the static so as i uh, i can visit my template over here and after that i can decide that which part would be dynamic and which part is the static part so guys just go and use the google chrome and inspect it's not the google chrome open with google chrome here i can inspect all the element of html page uh, inspect and here you can see this section is an in to the you know features and uh, where i am getting the dynamic part so main role main is the dynamic content which i want to add a, add here so just uh, you know minimize it this is for the dynamic content so guys uh, just go and you know cut it and add into a you know a empty notepad folder so <clears throat> what i will do here just go and add a simple div and uh, in this div i will put the render body render body method i'm not going to discussing about that what is a render body if you want to uh, understand then you can go and see my partial views okay so video so guys uh, still not completed what i will do next just go and add a new controller over here go and controller 
and the controller name would be home after adding the adding the home controller let me add a new view not a go to view just go and add view and select the use a layout page uh, checkbox go and select and here you will get the shared my layout.html add it if i execute this program you will not get the right result which you want to access is <coughs> taking uh, some time so guys showing some kind of error why this is happening because i use a render body two times in my project this is done by mistake so let me delete this uh, bottom render body method and execute it again so guys you are getting this output but you it's not the desired output just go and control u and you can see here you are not getting the right path of your css and other script file so just go and check it just if i click on this then you are getting the 404 error so it means that your index view is not capable to access all the css file so that is why we are not getting the desired output so what i will do next just go and change the you know path of your access in uh, your files for example that you are getting this file and this right uh, you are at the rate url dot contained and what changes i have to make over here just add contained because this is the directory name you can see here we are uh, we want to access this particular file so contained css so i am writing here slash contained slash css and these things okay so just uh, remove this so this is the right path to access this file so what i will do next i have to changes in all these css files like this so guys uh, it will take some time so i am just pausing and i am making changes because the if you uh, if i changes in front of you then the video length will be increased so it's not a very typical task so just i am pausing the video okay here we go so guys i changed all the you know css file folder path by using the url dot contain method now let me execute this program again and let's see that what we are getting output so just go and uh, see the index.cstml page of home controller so guys you are getting the uh, you know desired output which you want to add over here something which is missing over here that this is the index you are getting this particular index because uh, in our index page we didn't add anything so what i will do next just go and you know copied all those uh, you know contained which you have already pasted into the notepad file and just go and add it so let me refresh the page and see that what we are getting next so guys you are getting the complete output so something that is missing that is the images path we are not getting the right image path over here so i have to make changes into this particular file index.cstml and the same thing you have to do over here i am not doing the complete thing over here because it's not necessary because if you understand the concept you can make changes over as accordingly you are accordingly okay so just go and select the con uh, content and here what you will write the content slash and images actually i i uh, already done it so just go and add the content images uh, 10.jpg now let me refresh and see the output if i am getting the right output over here just refresh it and you will get the desired output which you want to add over here so we are not getting the image something is missing uh, i think uh, let me check it oh i the, the problem i understand because uh, on uh, not a single image is uh, added over here so just go and uh, you know uh, select all the files from the downloaded folder and add them into the images folder okay so just stop it and uh, i do not know why this happening because it's not uh, you know uh, <coughs> it's not happened generally so just go and uh, 
add the, all the images yes okay so now we have uh, all the images over here now let me execute this again and let's see that what is the output we will get over here so it will take some time still the problem is with the images but guys i think this is happening due to my windows problem so don't worry about that you can make changes as your own and uh, you will get the desired output which you want to add over here so <coughs> uh, this is the project one and uh, let me check it out that what is happening again this is happening due to my some you know windows uh, kind of issue seriously i apologize it but uh, uh, what we have to uh, do next over here uh, you have to make some changes into your uh, you know javascript reference files also like jquery file and all these things i think it may be happened due to these because i have not added the reference of the you know uh, js file so what i will do just go and bottom uh, bottom side and add here the uh, contain like url dot contained here what i will do just go and add contained slash remove this double quotes over here and add it okay it's fine copied it paste it guys i have done all these things so you now you can understand that how we can integrate uh, the mvc template into our project so thank you very much for your cooperation